I'm Cecilia Louie of Paper Zen. I've been looking forward to showing you my latest quilling patterns, a set of three potted succulents. There's an angel wing, an aloe vera, and a barrel cactus. I had a lot of fun making these because they're so versatile. They can be used for birthdays, Valentine's Day, a thank you note, whatever you want, because you can type any message on the front. My PDF files are electronically fillable, so customize it to make it personal for you. On the back, you can type your name and proudly tell the world you quilled this. And if you want to sell your finished quilling, go right ahead. As with all my patterns, you won't need a ruler to measure. All you need to do is lay your quilling paper on top of my pattern, mark the folds and cut to size. After buying my pattern, you'll receive a link to my full tutorial and I'll show you how to quill each design step by step. The finished cards are four and a quarter by five and a half, so you can print two cards onto a letter sized sheet and have no wastage. After you finish quilling your card, protect it in a pillow box envelope, which again, you can customize with anyone's name. To create these cards, I use the color printer to print onto paper and cardstock. You'll need a free program called Adobe Acrobat Reader, which will allow you to type your name on the back of the card and your personalized message on the front. The quilling paper I'm using is called Canson Miton. I cut the strips myself into quarter inch widths, but you can use whatever you have on hand too. I do prefer Miton because it's thicker than conventional quilling strips, which I find is a little wavy when I'm making long straight lines. You'll need a needle or slotted quilling tool, a scoring tool such as a dried up pen, a crochet hook or something of this circumference, tweezers, X-Acto knife, ruler, scissors, removable tape, glue, and some plastic cards. I like both thick and thin. This is the first time I've designed a quilling pattern such as this, and I hope you'll let me know what you think of this idea in the comments below. Till next time, happy quilling!